Pepe Ruiz, uh, you, you want to say something? Uh, sir, maganda nga po. Yung sa akin, yung active sports shooter na sinasabi namin dito, is we are only about ilang libo? Uh, we have uh, 8,000 from PISMOC and about 10,000 from PPSA. So we have about 18 to 20,000 active shooters. So that is uh, roughly about 10% of all the shooter uh, registered firearms shoot, uh, uh, registered uh, no, gun owners. Well, uh, that is 1% pala. So uh, the rest are what we can consider as mga Sunday shooters. Yung mga nagpupunta lang once in a while sa range, po, bibili ng isang kaun ng bala, uubusin yung bala doon, uh, just to hone their skills with handling the firearm to be responsible enough na hindi in the event na may mangyaring uh, home invasion, eh hindi nila mabaril ang sarili nila. Ngayon, maybe we can come up with a terminology for them na hindi sport shooter. Uh, yun lang po ang ano, yung stand ko ron. Yes, yes. You, uh, I agree with you guys. Uh, the only thing is, my worry lang, uh, gentlemen, no, to be in the practical side, my worry lang, we have colleagues that might be, eh, once na pinag-usapan na natin yung permit to carry, tsaka yung, yung permit to transport and all, may mga colleagues na tayo baka, baka umalma. Kaya yung sabihin ko, it's only ownership and uh, LTAP. Pag linigyan mo na yung paghawak ng baril, meron na kami mga bleeding hearts sa, sa plenary that might uh, make it difficult no? for, for, for us. So I'm just giving you the practical side of it. Huh? So I'd rather have a bill that we can pass that is uh, doable rather than no passage at all. But uh, maybe we can come up with a technical working group. The chairperson is completely adequate enough to, to make that decision, being that he is a former chief PNP, and he handles cases like this, no uh, misuse of firearms, etc. etc. But yun lang, uh, yun lang worry ko, chairman, kasi pag pinasukan na natin yan, meron na ako mga limang senador na alam ko, baka mahirapan tayong nagkakaproblema because of the carrying of firearms. So, uh, pati yung uh, pa permit to carry, it's not even in the law, di ba? The permit to carry, this gives you, gives the chief PNP full discretion, eh. <clears throat> nasa chief PNP yung full discretion ng permit to carry. Ang alam ko, talagang siya lang ang makakabigay nun ng go or no go. Di ba po, uh, Colonel? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. Uh, balikan ko yung uh, nag-usapan natin, no? Yung pa parang the, this committee, this committee, this uh, committee and uh, all the stakeholders ay nag-agree doon sa 5-5 for those sa PTC4, ako somehow backtrack mula ako doon sa 5 kanina dahil kinusyon ako ni Majority Leader na sigurado daw na mayroong haharang doon sa plenary dyan. So, bahala na kayo sa inyong position paper. Pero huwag naman siguro one year. Mga dagdagay, huwag gawin yung two years ba? O maging three. Kahit na to, o okay na yun. Pero basta, te, gawin na lang yung lang kwan sa position paper niyo. Para naman, uh, uh, kasi kung 5-5-5, sigurado daw may malakas na opposition. Please, sa... Uh... Eh, sir, eh, nung time mo, eh, yung sport shooter kasama yung mga rifle at shotgun na binibigyan mo ng PTC na may 500 rounds na PTT for ammo. Eh, nung mawala ka, na this na na disenfranchise kami yung mga shooter at binibigyan lang kami ng 5 days na PTT. Yung dati 1 year yung ano namin sa iyo na PTC. So nakaka where we freely nakakabiyahe kami, nakakapunta kami nang Davao, nakakapunta kami sa Cebu, nakaka night -night check in namin sa aeroplano. But then again, meron kaming na, ikwento ko na sa iyo nagkaroon kami ng konti problema sa airport nung nag-check in kami hindi kinilala yung 500 rounds ni Air Asia at naharas kami kami ni Boji Castro si Governor Teng Mauda Dato eh, ang kinikilala ng nila is 50 rounds na isang box na may dalawang magazine so doon mismo sa check-in counter 
pinalabas sila sa amin ng bala at magazine at nag-load, pinag-load kami ng bala sa magazine at nilagay namin 50 rounds exactly at binibilang pa ng security guard nila kung ilang bala yung nilagay namin sa box. Hindi ba mas delikato yun? At buti na lang mo at walang, walang keyboard warrior na nag-video sa amin na naglo-load kami ng bala doon sa mismo check-in counter sa Terminal 4. Kung hindi, iskandalong malaki yun. Hindi lang para sa aming mga shooter, pati sa PNP. Sa eh, walang one, taga Absico, Absigrop? Eh, uh, wala silang magawa. Ipalis eh, daw nung airline. At doon kami pinag-load ng bala, binabukas. You know how we transport our firearms and our ammunition and magazine. They are all in separate boxes. Pero in that moment, in that case, doon mismo sa check-in counter, pinil pinilit nila na 50 rounds ang lagay namin doon sa kaon ng, ba ng baril. Anyway, dagdag mo na yan sa position paper ninyo. Oh, ah, dadagdag namin. Dagdag niyo. At saka yung may balik na sana yung all, drive, all uh, firearms used for competition, malagay na rin sa PTT, PTC. Uh, small arms naman yun eh. This hindi kasama ang kwa na, M16? Hindi kasama. Eh, tinanggal na natin yun eh. Well, tinanggal natin yun, no? So, so eh, PCC, eh, mini PCC, rifle, PRR, mini rifle. Oh, shotgun. Huh? Oo, oh, okay lang yun. Oh. Di ba yung kasama sa pinagbawang ni Presidente? Oh, hindi ah, ayaw na niya yung high power. Oh, yun Kaya lang. Yung M16. No, ano, okay. yung full. Thank you. Your honor. Thank you po. Thank you po. Meron na.